too many people that I talk to believe that the rational argument is the way to get to a yes. Hmm. What do you say to them? It's never worked when I've been trying to convince my wife of anything. Um, we, we want to believe that we're rational creatures. And I think the work in behavioral economics, people like Dan Ariely shows, in fact, his book is called Predictably Irrational, that we are very irrational, but in predictable ways. Um, so we like to convince ourselves that, you know, the reason we bought something, you know, is for all these reasons, A, B, and C. But salespeople understand that people buy based on emotion and justify afterwards with logic. So I'm not saying that we should go in and just make a completely emotional appeal, get people to cry and do things like that. That can come across as manipulative. But you also don't want to go so far to the other side that you just lay out A, B, and C and expect they're going to understand it and, and do that. This is where the principles come in, because you have an opportunity to invoke a little scarcity, some liking. And, and these principles, all people, they make decisions based on them to one degree or another. So don't lean so heavily on the, the rationality of your argument. Understand how to present it using what science says is the best way to communicate. Okay. All right. So I need rational argument, but that alone isn't enough. I need some other principles that are going to help get to yes.